Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is the first of my Moon Legendary Lost Sector series. This is K1 Communion. It just came out today with the Seraph Bunker that opened on the moon today. This one's quite tricky. The Vandals seem to drop these uh, kind of suppressant mines every time you kill them. So it can make doing this a little bit tricky. Uh, most people should have the bunker almost fully upgraded if not fully upgraded because we've been collecting the bits for so long so you know this is really all there is that might not even be any need to actually for this to be so important but we started so i'll finish uh, and this is my guide for how to get through this i am using roughly the same kind of loadout that i always kind of use for this i'm doing it on the hunter which is different for the invisibility I'm using Ostringer with a minor spec, Ariana's Vow for barrier champions and for kind of long range killing and I'm using a sword. This time I'm using the Steel Sybil which is a void sword because we've got some servitors. Heavy ammo, special ammo finder are kind of really important for most of this stuff. And I've got an enhanced sword scavenger which you get from the, the artifact. I'm also using... Uh, passive guard which is another artifact mod which you take less damage when you're holding the sword really important when you're actually doing stuff with the sword and we've got disruption blade which disrupts the overload champions so what we're going to do as soon as we get in here we're just going to equip a sword and we're going to take these ads out straight away with the sword so the idea of this is if you let them spawn and just kind of do their own thing they'll just run about you want to attack them as soon as they spawn in just keep them in this area no problem at all the last kind of enemy that's gonna that's gonna drop is, as you can see the barrier champion so i'm gonna put a heap of shots on him and i'm gonna back away get out my ariana break his shield and then finish him now you could see there that those suppressor mines they are dropped every single time just about every single time you kill a vandal whether it's a sniper vandal or whether one of those symmetry wielding vandals i know they're not using the symmetry but it's kind of similar to the symmetry's alter fire rate alternative fire rate so when we get here i'm just gonna finish these ads here as you can see ariana kind of one shots now i'm doing this as if as if i'm not a thousand gear i'm not going to be using any of the bunkers uh mod of you know special kind of perks i'm not going to be using the heavy frame you can use the heavy frame here it will help but i'm i'm just going to do it as if i don't have any of that stuff so as you can see i dropped once i took out the first couple of ads i dropped down here where you got you you get those kind of spear wielding fallen that come down after you and then i'm going to go around this corner and try and clear out as many of these vandals as possible clearing out these vandals that come into the center is quite important because it allows you then to attack the champion as you can see i never got a chance to there because i never killed them all and there's the mine you can shoot the mines and and, and that's kind of good if you can so we're just going to take this champion out we just want to get the shield up and then do a usual break break the shield um attack it with the sword and then as soon as i do that i'm gonna go try try and try and attack some more enemies go around the sides but you have to be careful of these mines luckily we got that one shot but you'll see here what i mean i mean i'm saying that you've got to be really careful what i mean is if you want to do this if you want to just get used to doing kind of high-end solo kind of stuff or you know stand a better chance of doing stuff on your own you kind of want to do it without dying if you're just running in and you're dying all the time or you're not really bothered whether whether you you get through it uh flawlessly although there is no achievement or anything for flawless in it if you haven't already got the complete the bunker flawlessly then you know the, without dying should i say then this is a good one to try on this one's quite difficult to do it but not that difficult the way I'm I'm doing this is as if there is something I'm going to get for not dying. I like to do stuff flawlessly. I like to do it, test myself, see if I can get through stuff without dying. Because, well, it stands to reason if you can stay alive 
for long periods of time, you give yourself a better chance of beating content with without kind of too much worry because you're used to you've built up your playstyle to stay alive. So as you could see there, uh, I kind of took because I because I dealt with most of the vandals pretty quickly. I didn't really have to worry about too much Roman ads. Uh, the server I went down with a grenade. When you get into this room, what I done was I, I made sure that I pre-needed the door. And that helped me kill some of the ads. Now, you might notice that the ads that came out here never actually dropped any of those uh, suppressor mines. And I, it's the first time that happened. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I killed them with an ability. Maybe it was. But you'll see just, a, every, just about every single... Uh, add after that, Vandal after that will drop them. So once you start attacking those ads on the left, as soon as you come into this room, you're going to get those spear-wielding Vandals from the right. You just have to be very careful for w w when you're attacking here because they can do a lot of damage. When I come out here, I'm going to go to the left, dodge, reload, and I'm going to I'm going to go straight for these ads. Now there's a there's a quite quite a quite a few ads. That, that come out with the champion. So now I'm going to suppress the champion. I'm going to take him out. And then we've got a few more ads here. Just try and clear any of these kind of groups of ads. As soon as you do, move. Because you're going to get the next wave coming in. And ju just, for, just for the sake of learning how to stay alive. And get through stuff. Pretty simple. You need to be mobile. There is nowhere really. Unless somebody finds a cheese spot. And... Well, spoilers, I don't do cheeses. I don't I don't really worry about them, as you can see there. Uh, I could have probably stood there for ages trying to shoot that, except there was a pebble block in its way. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to stay kind of, you know, the ads will move in these areas in conjunction to where you are. Now, they will always go to, to a side. They won't change sides, but once they go to their side, then they'll start... You don't want them to focus you. So stay active, stay mobile, use these shields at the sides as your cover and kind of try and take everything out until you're just left with that big shank, that, that, that monster shank. Once you take the shank down, what I done this time, and this was the way I kind of found worked best for me, was I tethered and then grenade, went straight after the boss straight away. Now, any ads that come out with them are going to get damaged by any hits I put on him. As you can see, I am taking damage, but because I've got pass, because I've got the the passive guard on, it afforded me a lot more protection. I didn't use my dodge until the boss was dead, because the minute the boss is dead, I'm going to dodge and go invisible, and then get out of there. So, boss is down. To get the chest now, we do have to kill the ads. There's no... Last week, I, I took a, I, I got some comments saying, oh, what I done was I just went invisible and ran past everything, and I used this and I used that. Yes, those things work, and if you're just, you know, nobody wants to be running this tons and tons of times. But, uh, yeah, it's not going to work this time. So what we're going to do is we're just kind of waiting for a grenade because there's too many ads to really go and push... Again, you could, you know, like I've said before, if all you're interested in is the completion, you're not really too bothered about, you know, getting through it or learning how to do it, then you could just go and attack the ads. You probably will die, but there's no consequence for dying. I just, I think if I'm putting something out like a guide, I need to show you guys how to do it tactically. So I'm still using the cover. I know that there's going to be more ads. The, ad, the, the group that I'm waiting for, we've got these servitors. The group that I'm waiting for is you'll get two lots of exploders. So I've went invisible. I'm just going to come. I'm going to push this. And then the reason for using the sword is not only because the sword is really strong. The other reason for using the, the sword is the sword helps you move when you're suppressed. If you do get suppressed and have a passive guard on, you can still move quite quickly while you're suppressed. So here are these exploders. Just mopping them up. And then, you know, when you clear a section of them, 
just make sure you move to where that section is because you can be guaranteed the sun behind you because they come from 2x entrances and when they come you will get more vandals more more smaller ads maybe an invisible which we, we just want to make sure that when as you can see when that light comes on that is that tells you there are no ads left and all we've got there are there, there is actually an invisible and the champion left so i'm just going to suppress them and there goes the invisible and there goes the champion and that's how you do it guys when it goes red the boss is in when this room goes red the boss is here and when the lights come back on the boss is the, you 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 could if you haven't already killed the champion you'll have maybe an invisible up and the champion if the champion's still alive thank you very much for watching guys i hope this helps you painlessly get through this again i always appreciate your viewership if you did enjoy it a like would be much appreciated thank you very much enjoy the new bunker and i will speak to you guys in the next video